Hey, Rob D. Postal here again with another Ultra Sabers review, this time for The Guardian. As you can see, based on Obi-Wan's lightsaber from the prequel movies, I've got to give a props to Ultra Sabers. The postage was expensive. It got here within three to four days. What I want to do today is compare the Ultra Edge Heavy Grade and the Heavy Grade Blades. I want to test out the light difference and see which one looks better with which blade. I've got the Apprentice I had previously, that's in the orange. And then the Guardian is in Guardian Blue with Silver Flash on Clash. Later in the video we actually did some dueling, me and my friend Damien. I was testing out how strong they are, how much wear and tear they could take. And there's a bit of footage from that as well. Just a quick note for any newbies ordering the savers. Always do your research first. I ordered the Guardian thinking the retention screw would be the same size, but it's actually a different size. You know what they say about assuming? So I had to order a Imperial Allen key that we don't actually have in Australia. I think that it's like a 5.4 for a normal apprentice type one, and then the Guardian was like a, a 9.4, something like that. The first thing I noticed about the Guardian is just the sheer size of it. Compared to the Apprentice Saber, it's just massive. It's actually pretty hefty. You could hit someone with the hilt and probably do a fair bit of damage. It's also a really nice looking saber. The pommel especially looks good. And then there's like jewels and layers and everything. It, it just looks really well put together. Here they are with the blades on. I have the Ultra Edge Heavy Grade on the Guardian and the Heavy Grade on the Apprentice. This is just to give you something to have a comparison with. Doesn't show up really well on the video, but you can definitely see a difference when I hold the blade up closer. The sound on the Guardian is slightly more muffled. That means the speaker is a lot more protected than on the smaller blade where it's just a straight through pommel. This is after I swapped the heavy grade and the ultra heavy grade blades around on the savers. I don't know if it shows up too well on the camera, but I think the ultra saber guardian blue looks not so good in the heavy grade. Not as good as in the ultra heavy grade. What surprised me is the orange looks pretty good in the ultra heavy grade. Overall, it's a really nice saber. I would highly recommend it. If you're using it for dueling, I'd probably use two hands, but you could you could do it with one if you if you like the design. If you're a fan of Obi-Wan's lightsaber, I'd say 
definitely pick one up. If you're worried about the sound, I really wouldn't worry too much. There is a difference with the vented and the straight through. The difference is hardly noticeable. And if it really bothers you that much, you can just take it off. I also recommend the flash on clash. Something about when a saber hitting a saber it causes the flash. It just looks really cool. As for dueling, the scuff marks is probably the most you're gonna see. I was hitting pretty hard with Damien and the saber was just taking it. There was no bending, cracking, they just stood up to the force. You would really have to be trying to break it to break it. For a while Damien and I have been planning on making an Ultra Saber light lightsaber battle sort of video. We filmed this just sort of seeing what the Ultra Sabers could do and I'll include it in the review as a teaser for the short film we're putting together. And that's where the battery died on the Apprentice Saber. I've since got different batteries. I was using some rechargeable crappy ones. Now I've got some Enelop ones someone recommended on the Ultra Saber forms. But yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe. I'll see you next time.